The idea for the Windvale Sprites first occurred to me a long time ago, actually, in 1987, when there was a huge storm. And I was very young at the time. I went out into my parents' garden and found things in the garden that had been blown from elsewhere, litter and, and plants and bits of washing from other people's washing lines. And that's when the story occurred to me that what if you were to find a creature in your garden that had been blown from somewhere else, a strange, very rare creature that nobody had ever discovered before. And that's what the character in Windvale Sprites does. He finds what looks like a fairy floating in his fish pond and it's dead. Then he saw it. Floating amongst the duckweed at the edge of the fish pond was a small figure. Acer assumed that it was a toy that had been blown from somewhere else. Why wouldn't he? But as his fingers closed around it, he jumped back in horror. For what he touched was not plastic or wood, it was skin. The voice of Acer, I didn't want to make too different from my own. Even though he's a little boy, I, th I thought me putting on a little boy's voice a, high, a higher voice would have been quite an irritating thing to the listener. I think because I'm the narrator and it's from Ace's point of view, I made it perhaps slightly more naive sounding than my voice. Who are you? croaked the voice. Asa, he managed to squeak. What? Asa Brown. Are you the baker's boy? What time is it? Not sure, about half past four, I think. The old man. Benjamin Tooth was easier just because he is a strange, wizened old skeleton that um, is 250 years old. So I could quite easily put on a gravelly old man's voice and, and you know, that, that was his character straight away there. What day is it? Friday, no, Saturday. Well, which is it, boy? Saturday. Curses, I only meant to have a nap. The skinny hand replaced the spectacles and disappeared back inside the hair. The pile heaved and shifted as the old man tried to haul himself to his feet, but before long he gave up and slumped back. What's a month, boy? October, replied Asa. Confound it, he shouted. I've missed my birthday. I was brought up reading Roald Dahl very early editions when the illustrations were done by uh, a, a few different illustrators, um, and, but they were always very detailed, intricate line drawings with lots of, lots of details that, that the child could imagine that they'd spotted and they were the only one to have spotted. And I wanted my book to have that feel of, of quite an old fashioned feel with these uh, very detailed uh, black and white line drawings in it. 